so already we know about uh, what is demand and its determinations so let us uh, know about what is the law of demand law means there is certain rules and regulation that is called law so now demand has a time law let us know uh, in briefly law of demand expresses the relationship between quantity demanded quantity demanded and the price of the commodity it is a relationship between demand and price it is the relationship between demand and price the law of demand states that when the other things remaining constant the lower the price of a commodity the larger the quantity demanded of it and vice versa here we mentioned ceteris paribus that means other things remaining constant other thing other things remaining constant other things means apart from the price other things will remaining constant or we are not considering other than the price other than the price that's why the law of demand is the relationship between quantity demanded and price of the commodity in simple terms other things remaining constant if the price of the commodity increases the demand will decreases and if the price of the commodity decreases the demand will increase look at the table what we given in the right side the table clearly shows that when the price increasing from 1 rupees to 4 rupees the demand will decreases from 60 kg to or 60 to 30 at the same time when the price decreases from 4 rupees to 1 rupee the demand will increase from 30 to 60 there are uh, some assumptions to this theory look on this one by one first one is no change in taste and preference no changes in taste and preference already we know that taste and preferences vary the demand taste and preference will vary the demand that's why this theory will assume this theory will assume there is no changes in taste and preference that's why this theory assumes there is no changes in taste and preference next one income of the consumer is constant the next assumption of this theory is income of the consumer is constant there is no vary in income because income varies the demand that's why it assumes income of the consumer is constant next no changes in customs habits quantity of goods and no changes in substitute products related products and the price of the product 
next one is no complementary boots there is no complementary boots because price of the complementary goods will vary the demand that's why it should be constant this theory